Well, it's the eighth Champions League final contested by two clubs from the same nation and the third involving two Premier League giants. It's the fourth time City and Chelsea are meeting in 21. City won at the bridge in January, but Tuchel's men have won the last two. Chelsea last won three on the bounce against City between 05 and 09, uh, winning eight in a row. This is the third time as well that Chelsea have reached the UCL final, having sacked their manager mid-season. In 07-08, Jose Mourinho left and Avram Grant guided the Blues to the final. In 2011-2012, Andre Villas Boas took a significant payout from Abramovich and Roberto Di Matteo won the final over Bayern Munich. Tuchel took over from Lampard in January. Well, as promised, Shaka joins us now to cast his expert gaze over this huge UEFA Champions League final. City-Chelsea in Portugal was meant to be in Istanbul, but they shifted it to Porto. 28 titles, Shaka, in City's rich, rich history. The Premier League title already at the Etihad, but the UEFA Champions League, that's the one they want. That's the one that Pep wants as well. So does it kind of, in a way, put a bit more pressure on City? Without a question. This, all the pressure going into this Champions League final is on Manchester City and, and maybe more specifically on, on Pep Guardiola. Given the money that City have spent over, over recent seasons, you know that the Champions League has been their holy grail for, for quite some time. They've yet to make a final up until now. And now all of a sudden, you're within 90 minutes of lifting that elusive trophy up against an opponent you know so well. City go into this as favourites, but under all the pressure. Yeah, and to add kind of further pressure, I guess, Pep hasn't won a UEFA Champions League final since with Barcelona, what, in 10 years? Tuchel lost the yeah. final last year with Paris Saint-Germain. What do you make of the, of the coaching matchup in this one? Really interesting. And listen, as for all the plaudits around Pep Guardiola, he still has his critics. You mentioned, Jason, that he hadn't won since Barcelona. Goes to Bayern Munich, doesn't win it there. Yup Hankis comes in, uh, he wins it. And, and it, it, you just wonder, um, or, or Hankis wins it just before Guardiola comes in. And that, I think, just may, maybe didn't reflect well on, on Guardiola. Then comes into City. Given the money they spent over the years, the pressure is back on him to deliver. But for Thomas Tuchel, certainly with Chelsea, they're playing with house money. There was not a lot of expectation around Chelsea halfway through this season. Um, and then after the, the transfer window closes, once Thomas Tuchel comes in. But he seemed to turn their fortunes around. They started playing well, started defending a whole lot better, got themselves into the top four. Nobody saw that two or three months ago and even got the better of Pep Guardiola in the league. Disappointing in the FA Cup final, yes, they'll want to make amends for that. For Tuchel, he also wants to make amends for last season's Champions League final. So this is one more for Chelsea coming into um, where they can do their reputations a whole lot of good without there being the same kind of expectation or pressure that City and Pep Guardiola are under. I want to get your thoughts on what we're going to see during the match, hopefully. Uh, Chelsea's defence against City's attack. Who is Shaka Hislop uh, keeping a keen eye on regarding the players? I think this is, this is all about City. And given how good City have been going forward for quite some time, I think the missing piece of their puzzle they found in Ruben Diaz and how good they've been as a result defensively. This is as balanced a City team as Pub Guardiola has had. And coming into this competition, again, despite the recent head-to-head -head between these two, I just feel City come into this in better form, especially when you look at how they close these seasons, seasons out. Chelsea, as I mentioned, losing in the FA Cup final, then beating Leicester, but then losing on the final day of, of the season to Aston Villa. I think City coming to this in a whole lot better form, had the league won, Guardiola was able to make changes, and now in this most odd of season, for the first time, it feels like both teams with a full week's rest under their belt. But I just feel everything more leans towards City. With Aguero also leaving, I think that adds a, another layer of icing to this for City. He promised never to leave the Etihad until they won the Champions League. We know he's leaving. What a departing <laughs> gift this will be yeah. to come true on that prediction. It's set up beautifully, isn't it? So you've got City. Give us a scoreline then. I'm going to go 2-0 for Manchester City. Um, I just feel that 
Chelsea better on the counter-attack, but City will be prepared for that this time around. And they certainly have, have more attacking options um, where Chelsea sometimes a little bit hit and miss. Yeah, hopefully it's better than the Europa League final. Shaka, as ever, brilliant. Thank you. Take care.